how are you today welcome back to my channel i have another vlog for you it's actually nearly midday i took daisy to daycare this morning and then i went to aldi and then woolworths and it's just taken me that long to go through the shops and do like a decent scour i just started to unpack and i'm like you know what i'm just gonna vlog because i did a grocery haul a couple of vlogs ago and um i thought i'd do one here to show what i get from different places but i recently so i shop at woolworths because it's closest to me usually but lately like i've been going to aldi especially with the no spend i've been trying to save as much money as i can and we've been trying to eat at home a lot more history is we are terrible with like cooking meals at home unless we have like a meal subscription box like every plate or hello fresh because it will come to the end of the day and we're like oh my god i can't be bothered but we've been really good the last couple of weeks and we've only had takeout like once for lunch i think and then we had it twice when we went to the beach like fish and chips so we do shop at woolworths usually so we have everyday rewards which you can collect points for how much money you spend and you can get extra points they have an app and everything i just found out like last week that you can sign up for this every everyday rewards extra and i think you get three times the amount of points each shop you also get a 10 percent off Woolworths and a 10% off Big W, I think it is, every month. And for every 2,000 points, you get a $10 reward. So you can spend that at Woolworths or Big W or there's other stores as well. And what you can actually do, which I just turned on, I didn't know you could do, is you can bank all your rewards or your $10 vouchers for Christmas time. So between certain dates in December and January or November and January, you can spend those points. So I was thinking, oh, that's great. I can buy Christmas presents or I can buy Christmas food it comes to the end of the year and you have to fork out so much money for like extra presents and you just like want to be generous and buy people things and you know put on a good spread for christmas or whatever and i just think that that would be so handy to be able to save extra money by like saving all your points rather than just ten dollars off a shop here or there anyway penny what's up what's up puppy hello hello come here come here puppy Come here, yes, you're a good doggy. Yes, you're a very good dog. Yes. You need some love, don't you? Oh, you love the cats, don't you? Oh, pen dogs. Pen doggies, you're stinky. You're very stinky, pen. Anyone else have a stinky puppy? Yes, I'm sure you guys do. Stinky dog. And the scritchies? Oh yeah. Scritchies. Alright, you good now? You good? Anyway, I'm gonna unpack all of this and show you everything that I got. Okay, here's all the groceries. So I spent 90, I think it was $95 at Audi. I can't find the receipt. And then I spent $66 at Woolworths, I think it was. Uh, so at Woolworths, well, this wasn't at Woolworths, but there's our bread. We get the low GI high fiber bread from Baker's Light. And I just sent up to their rewards because every $50 you spend, you get a free a five dollar voucher which is basically a free loaf of bread this was on sale we got some ice cream and fun fact this was the same price at aldi as it was woolworths so i got it from woolworths to get the points coco penny what are you two doing these ones would get extra points and we always use these for like chicken sizzles or whatever some sugar snap peas for a recipe that i'm doing uh, cauliflower bacon there were i think five times the amount of points at the deli section this had extra points i think 200 extra points um this dressing which i'm hoping will be like a japanese dressing that i can use for a recipe this one was on sale these were on sale for a dollar they're half price so i got these two to try i usually just get the Woolworths brand and then we've got some eggs I should have got the eggs from Aldi because they were actually a couple of dollars cheaper and for bigger eggs as well. So I think for 800 gram eggs, they were like $2 cheaper. Pegs because all the pegs on the 
close line of breaking so I got this is Daisy's toothpaste she yeah if you have a toddler you probably know you go through a bit of toothpaste because they just want to experiment with it um, and eat it rather than putting it on their teeth but anyway that was on sale I got a capsicum and some asparagus and I got some toothpaste as well I think that that's all I got from Woolworths and then all of this stuff is from Aldi they have these uh, pizzas sorry that's around the wrong way um, but these pizzas they're cheaper than McCain's and they're better and they're just good to have in the freezer in case you just need a a meal or a lunch or a dinner or something. I got them. This one was a bit more expensive, but I think this was like $3.29 or something. Got some potatoes. They have gone up in price. I think it was like $5 for two kilos, which is not too bad actually. And broccoli, an apple and a pear, strawberries. Uh, these are so delicious on like Asian inspired meals. So yum. Mm, we got some flaked parmesan. And I did get this. I just wanted to see the difference because I went to Audi first. So 210 grams. I hate, I, it's just like a pet peeve. I hate the big tubes of toothpaste. So I would rather a small one. Anyway, I got the small one from Woolworths. So washing detergent, carrots. Um, I got a little yogurt. This ham is great to have in the fridge for like daisy sandwiches or you can make it toasty or whatever. Um, I got Dean this to try. I don't know if he'll even like it, but he usually likes jerky. But these were at Aldi. They're not usually there and they were pretty good price. Got some cheese slices. Um, I got these to try and then I got, these are really good. They're $2 something each. And then they had some razors, the ones that I use and they were $2. Got this as a little like travel thing. Their tampons, by the way, are so much cheaper at Aldi. I think that they're under $2. And if you buy them regular price at like Woolworths or Coles, they're probably like five or $6. It's ridiculous. And then pumpkin and mint will make a pasta. Yeah, these are great to just have in the freezer as well for like lunches and they're so cheap. I got these because I have some pens on my desk that Daisy is intrigued by. So these were only a couple dollars. So maybe not just yet, but I'll put them in the cupboard for her. And then we have a friend's birthday coming up and I, and I was going to get some dash mail stuff, but I saw this xylophone. It's for a one-year-old and Daisy absolutely loved her xylophone when she got it for a first birthday so even I got use out of it like I would learn songs on it it was so good and then I just got him this little book as well because when Daisy was you know this age she loved like the touchy-feely books and they just had this at Audi so also I feel with like the no spend and going to Audi you get a little bit of a hit if you buy something <laughs> a dopamine hit if you buy something in the middle aisle but you're not really like wasting well, hopefully you're not wasting money but anyway like <laughs> they were things that we need because the party is this weekend so it was money that we have set aside for a present but anyway there is my shop i'm gonna put all of this away missed yesterday's upload which I'm really annoyed at yesterday I just and even the day before I don't know I'm just so up and down with like my mental health and everything but I'm like I woke up and I'm like I'm good today so I finished editing my makeup routine video and I just need to do the description and then I can upload it and then I have I don't even think I finished that vlog I have a vlog that I filmed like over a couple of days and <laughs> I need to edit that one. That's what I'll be doing. Oh, I also forgot we have, I have leftovers for lunch, which is amazing. We use this, I don't know if you've seen it. 
I'll show you. We used this last night. It is herb and garlic breadcrumbs. It was just from Aldi and it was actually really good. It's just something to put in the pantry and um, it's funny because I was meant to do this basil pesto crumbed chicken. I knew that we had basil pesto in the fridge, but Dean went to open it and it was just full of mold. So that was our backup plan and it actually turned out so good. So here's my leftovers for lunch. So maybe I'll heat that up and have it now. I love mashed pumpkin and mashed potato together. Yum, delish. walked in Daisy's room because like oh I miss her like she's at daycare today and sometimes I'm just like oh, I miss my bugs and then um this morning when I put on her daycare shoes I was like oh these are a bit snug on you I was in her room I'm like oh I need to get her new shoes out and like these are a size six and she's just growing up way too quickly <laughs> but I hope that Target come out with these again they had these last year and right now she has a mustard colored pair and then these were on clearance for like eight dollars and i wish i got more pairs of them because honestly they are the best like daycare shoes because they've got this elastic bit here and then a velcro bit here they're so easy to put on they've got some now that they have two velcro pieces and they're not as easy as these ones to put on this is what i mean about i buy things in advance when they're on clearance so in the end I save money because these are $20 full price. They'll probably go up this year. They'll probably be like $22. I can't just everything, the price of everything has gone up so much. I just like, I, I can't actually believe it. I just got the sweetest comment on my makeup tutorial video. It was from Michaela Jade. If you're watching, thank you so much. I'll reply to you after I read it, but and talk about it but she said oh this made me realize how much i miss your makeup videos you were always a favorite of mine to watch i loved how even when the beauty space got super materialistic and gurus gravitated towards only using expensive items you were still there with that fresh Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder from way back when it all started. Mostly just happy to see your interest grow and develop and still be shared with us all. Um, yeah <laughs> that sums me up i'm the kind of person like if i love something and it works well and if it's affordable yeah i'm all here for it the hard thing about like the beauty space you always felt like you had to keep up with new releases and trying them out and whether they be affordable or not i spent so much money on makeup like I had a lot sent to me like by the end of doing it but like I spent thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars on makeup and you know like I don't really have that much to show for it. I guess it started my career <laughs> like you know that's why I can uh, be a content creator because I put so much time and effort and money into making videos about makeup <laughs> but makeup is just like I don't know, it was, it was such a craze to be into makeup however many years ago. And now it's just like, I just put on makeup to get myself done, <laughs> to get my, myself like get ready and out of the door kind of thing. Like I don't really see it as anything extra. Whereas I guess I used to, you know, have fun and experiment with new things and try new things. And now I'm, uh, I've got a, I've got a very different life to what I was doing seven years ago. I actually think I started my YouTube channel. I think it's my 10 year anniversary. I think I started in 2013. I think I put up my first video, I think it was in Feb and it was so embarrassing, <laughs> so embarrassing. But like back then when I started, like there really wasn't that much makeup up, up around. Like you had to have the Urban K naked palette. There were things that you had to have and makeup has just evolved so much since then that there's the market's just saturated, oversaturated. Thank you so much for your comment, Michaela. A lot has changed since then, but I'm glad. And someone else commented saying, I feel like I'm watching you from 10 years ago. And you know, that like rings 
joy to my heart as well <laughs> because it felt good to sit down and film that and I think I will film like a chatty get ready with me video but um yeah it's cool <laughs> yeah I actually wouldn't even read about this it just it just you wouldn't read about it you can guess where I'm going with this I've got the nail polish remover in my hand I've got an event on Friday and it's been a while since I had a pedicure done. It was the start of December. And Dean got me a voucher to get, ugh, well, I forget what they call it, like extreme mani-pedi done, like a super pampered one for Christmas. And I'm the kind of person, some of you might understand this, some of you might not. I'm the kind of person, it's just like, I would have rather just three normal pedicure vouchers than like the over the top one. Like I'm just rather a, like a value for money kind of person. I also just usually go into like the walk on, walk in ones. So this place you have to book an appointment and stuff. And like yesterday I had a day and I needed to go get a pedicure like yesterday, today or tomorrow. And I still could have like booked. <laughs> anyway, I'm like, okay, I'll just paint my toenails myself and see how it turns out. If it turns out shit, then I'll go and do it. I'm doing my nails and I picked up this color like a few months ago and I wanted to try it out and I put it on and I'm like, oh, that doesn't look as good as what I thought it would. So then I pick out all of these colors to put like over the top of it to see what they look like. I do them on my fingers, like I paint my fingers to see what they're gonna look like. I'm like, oh, okay, yep, this one looks amazing and then I like get it ready, get that bottle ready, and then somehow I flick it and it goes everywhere. So I've now got, my, my toes are done. They're not done very well because I rushed it because now there's nail polish everywhere. But I've also got nail polish everywhere, so I don't know the proper way to remove it. And now it's dried a little bit, especially now that I've vlogged and I've taken my time to do it. But you just, you don't, you wouldn't read about this, would ya? This is the first time I've done my nails in like a really long time. And I much prefer to only wear normal nail polish on my toes as well. Because shellac is a bitch to get off on your toes. Like I just, I just don't even, I just don't even know how it happened. Thank God it was on the tiles. The other thing is, it like rolled underneath the couch. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky everything works out for me and the universe has my back. Like, I'm just so lucky. I'm so lucky. This is where it landed. Oh my God, there's so much there. I feel both so bad for wasting it. I guess it's just a bottle of essence. But Like you just, you actually wouldn't read about it. Not to mention when it like goes underneath the couch, I'm like scrambling with wet fingernails and wet toenails to try and get it. Like, it was just one of those moments. My God, these are so bad. Oh. So we just picked up a Daisy from daycare. She's having a snack. What are you eating? You got cheese and what else have you got on your plate? Apple. Apple. Pear. And pear, yeah. It's yummy. You like the cheese, don't you, babe? Can you tell us about daycare? Um, I play Lola. You play with Lola? Max. And Max? Yeah. What else did you do? Playing. Did you play outside? We did play inside. Oh, mainly inside. Yeah, it was a bit cold today. It was raining, wasn't it? Did you sing the rain song? Mummy, do the makeup. Yeah, Mummy, do the makeup. This morning? Yeah. Do you like the apple today, not the pear? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, we can go throw a toy outside for her. After you finish your snack. Okay? Some more cheese. Some more cheese. No, babes. I think you've had enough. 
Because once you finish your apple and your pear, you'll be very full. Oh, you didn't drop it. Apples. Yeah, apples. Do you like apple? Yeah. So we are just getting dinner on. I've got some veggies on. And Dean's got the barbecue on to cook some table steaks. Wow, they are huge. Why do you get such big ones? Oh my goodness, they're huge. Did you say steak? Oh my gosh. Did you cut that? Um, but Dean is just sharpening some knives. I got this electric sh knife sharpener at Aldi and it works so, so well. I saw it on sale today for like $12. So yeah, it's really good. Daisy's just independently playing and I'm so proud for ages. She just wouldn't independent play like at all. She was just so needy and now she does it and I'm just so brave. She's saying help. Do you need help? Can you ask nicely? What do you need help with? You're trying to put Lemmy in the sleeping bag? Uh, yeah. Alright, did you want me to hold it and use it in up? Hold her up. You put in Lamy Nine Eyes. Look how blanket Mommy made it. Please. Please. You want me to wrap it up? Wrap him up. Is that better? It's not a pillow. Dinner's ready, we got steak. And I found some potato gems in the freezer, so we got veggies, steak. Look at your hair. Do you like the potato gems? Are they yummy? Yeah. Yeah. I do this. That's really good, Daisy. Lots of different techniques. Yeah. Oh wow, Daisy! What are you drawing? Um, Mr. Sun. Um, Mr. Mr. Sun. Yeah. Yeah. Look what he's from. Look, Daddy drew it, did it? Yeah. Hmm. What color are you drawing with, Daisy? Um, blue. Yeah. What color is Daddy drawing with? Um, a sun. A sun. What color what is it? What color? Come with, with. Yeah, good job. Good, good, good mm. Oh, that's very good coloring in. Are you going to rub it off? Yeah. Another <laughs> one. A bar. A bar. A bar. A bar. It's called an eraser. 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 Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Eraser. Who's Daddy Jordan? Who? Who is it? Tom. Who? Tom. Tom. Yeah. Who's that? Miss Polly. Hmm? Miss Polly. Miss Polly. <laughs> yeah. Who's this? You better draw a dolly, Daddy. <laughs> sick, sick, sick. Can you wipe out that drawing? It looks angry. No. No. It looks very angry, Daisy. Yeah, good girl. Wipe it all off. Wipe it all off. Start again. Start again. Can mommy share? Yeah. Please. Thank you. Ta. Share together. Look, 
Star. Some more? Star. No, oh, please come. What's that say? Daisy. Yeah. Mommy. It Daisy, says Daisy. Daddy. Penny. Penny. Penny and Daisy. Daisy. Daisy, look up here. What's he say? D for dog. Yeah. Penny. Penny dog. That's very good. See Daisy again? Yeah. You put makeup on mommy? Hi. Yeah. Hi. On this side? Mm, thank you. Oh, on my nose. Yep. Thank you. You gonna put some on you? Come <laughs> on. You hair drying? Oh, make sure you get it all dry. It's very good. Yeah, done. All done. No one can wake up Izzy again. You want to wake up Izzy again? Okay. <laughs> Her room is trashed again. And my and like this. Hi, the girls. You can call me. Call for candy. Toy, order toy, doing an order toy, order toy, doing toy, order toy. Nice. Thank. Hi. What's it? This is my toy, and all toys. Let me do. Oh, you give the camera to mum. Caught. Hey Daisy, Pin. we're all done now. Okay, so Daisy is in the bath at the moment, um, and then we'll put it to bed. And we have been watching Wednesday. We've taken this long to watch it, I know. Um, but I think we've got three episodes left. And Dana only lets me watch one per night, which is super annoying. It has been quite good. So, yeah. Um, that's it for today's vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed and you're all doing amazing and try the lucky girl syndrome. I'm so lucky everything always works out for me. <laughs> I have the best life and yeah. <laughs> Just say it. Just keep saying it. If you've been on TikTok, you'll know what I'm talking about. But positive affirmations all the way. Okay. See ya. Bye.